Hey everyone, today on Classic Action Figures we're doing a quick haul video on some stuff I bought earlier today. I picked up three of the Rogue One Wave 3 action figures, um, Buddy Rook, Grand Admiral Thrawn as he appears in the Rebels TV show, and uh, Jin Erso in Imperial Ground Crew disguise. Um, there's also two more figures in this wave. There's a short trooper and also an Imperial Death Trooper with special gear. I didn't see either of those two today though. Um, these were $7.50 at Walmart and let's take a quick quick look at the figures themselves. Alright, first up it's Thrawn and uh, he's definitely my favorite from the three. I will be reviewing this one pretty soon. I like the way he looks here. I really like the way the uniform looks. Next up is Jin Erso and this is another nice version of the character. I like the fact that it comes with a removable helmet and uh, she's such a badass character that I'm glad we got a new version of her. Finally there's Bodhi and I'm not too fond of this character but he does play a vital role in the movie so I am glad that we finally got him. I was also able to score some Marvel Legends series figures today. Um, there's only two three and three quarter figures I grabbed. One of them is the new Wolverine, the female Wolverine. I'm not uh, too familiar with this character but I did like the way she looked so that's why I got her. Next up is uh, Invisible Iron Man. I do like the way the suit looks on this one. It's very clean. I do hope that the weapon on his right hand is removable though. It would be a shame if it were fixed. I also picked up some of the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy figures. The first one up is Angela, which I was uh, really looking forward to seeing. Later we've been getting some really great female figures in this line and this one doesn't look like it's gonna disappoint. Next up is Drax, um, and this one I never got when he originally first came out, the first Guardians of the Galaxy wave a couple of years ago. But from what I've heard, this one seems to be a much better representation of the character. Yondu is another cool looking figure and I really really liked him in the first movie. So I hope that uh, we get to see a lot more of him in this new movie, but the figure really looks amazing. And finally, I also picked up Nova and Star-Lord, both of which look amazing. So stay tuned to Classic Action Figures. I will be reviewing these in the next few days. So until next time, take it easy.